Hey there folks, I uh, got a new knife for you. Um, <laughs> I positioned it this way because I want you guys to get a look at the thickness of this knife. Let me see if I can zoom in. You guys get an appreciation for that? Uh, some of you guys might not recognize this knife. Actually, a lot of you guys probably won't recognize this knife. This one is the Deck Collector from Trouble Blades. TroubleBladeWorks.com um, It's marketed as a heavy-use tactical frame lock folder. Uh, let's open it up. It's, uh, so it's titanium on the lock side and G10 on the show side. I'm going to size it a second. Let me put it down for you guys so you can look at it. So it looks like a butcher blade. Something that Bill the Butcher from the Five Points from Gangs of New York might be uh, proud to carry. <laughs> um, so it kind of looks like the uh, Kingdom Armory folding uh, knife, right? The Butcher knife. But this is way, way bigger. Way bigger. Uh, the blade steel is S35VN. Uh, I think they can also do it in N690. Um, it's made of titanium again on the lock side, G10 on the show side. The blade length, believe it or not, it's only 3.5 inches. So it's you could actually EDC this knife. I mean, I know it looks tremendous, but... <laughs> um, blade thickness is about a quarter inch. Let's see if I can show that to you guys. So think of a Medford. So this is, oh uh, my God, look at that. So this is marketed as a hard use folder, very durable. I believe the titanium is the same size as the blade steel, the titanium and the G10. It's got a G10 backspacer. The owner, Tim Bacconi, uh, likes to whack it up. So this comes in brown, black, orange. I'm not sure what other colors it comes in, but I'm sure he's going to make them uh, in different colors. Then he likes to whack it up and put like a black G10 spacer. Overall length is 9 inches. Close length is 5.58 inches. Let's see. It's got a nice uh, hollow grind on it. Take a look at that. Uh, it's very sturdy. Let's see, what else? The jimping, it's got a lot of nice jimping on. It's got this forward choil where you can choke up on it. The jimping is actually not very aggressive, like uh, the 560. It's not. It's very, it's actually, it's good jimping. It's going to give you good purchase. Um, and it's not rough. It's, it's actually very comfortable. Uh, I mean, you can see this thing's humongous humongous there's no lanyard hole on this side he uh the owner tim put the lanyard hole only on this side so it's only on the titanium side and then it comes out so it gives it a nice clean look if you want to put a, a lanyard on it uh let's show the lock up it's got a little stick i mean no, i just got it so it's a uh, Got it wearing a little bit. Per perfect, perfect centering. I'm the size of that steel. This is interesting. Look at this lockup. This is the first thing I noticed. And as the truck is passing by. So that lockup looks super early, right? I mean, I thought it was going to fail. <laughs> you know, but it doesn't. It's, it's, you know, it's very strong. Why? And I'll show you why. The titanium is actually as thick as on this side, on the bottom. It goes all the way up, right? But when you go all the way up, it looks like it's not meeting. But on the inside, as you can see, the titanium is actually very meaty in the center. So lockup, as you can see, is actually almost 50 percent i would say 40 percent meeting the steel over there 
you can see the D10 ball. So it's very deceiving because when you look at it this way, it's like, ooh, that's, that's super early. I mean, that doesn't even look like it's sitting on it. But when you look at it this way, it definitely meets the blade. So it's definitely for hard use. It's built to stand like uh, chopping. <laughs> Comes with lifetime sharpening from uh, Tim. Uh, also lifetime warranty. Any, any defects, any normal uh, wear and uh, <laughs> use, it'll, he can probably accommodate you and fix your knife. But um, let's see, this is website. So it's Trouble Blades. It's TroubleBladeWorks.com. Um, remember I did that video talking about, uh, oh, let me show you some eye candy. Just to give you guys an idea of the size of this bad boy. So here's the deck collector. Here's a large Sebenza 25. Dwarfs it. <laughs> Dwarfs it. But um, yeah, um, I found out about Trouble Blades from Chris from Knife Thursday. So, so I, I reached out to Tim and uh, and uh, remember I, I spoke about like how uh, customer service is a, a, a huge thing for me. Tim is like the nicest guy. They're based in Canada. Uh, what a gentleman this guy is. Talk to this guy. This guy was very accommodating. Um, uh, very easy to talk to. Very easy to talk to. And, um, you know, he told me what he actually. Oh, that's another thing. This is actually kind of like a one-off. Uh, I'm not sure see, if you see these are like hex screws. I think the other ones are done with torques now. So these are hex. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Like these are hex. See the titanium clip, which is also uh, titanium, as the same as the, the the lock side, and it's got good retention on it. But yeah, this is kind of like a one-off. Um, the ones that he has now, uh, his logo, this is the logo, right? Kind of looks like a tiki. I think it's a T and a B overlapping. As you can see, it's uh, on mine, it's sideways. But on the new ones, it's going to be reversed. So it's going to be facing this way. It might be a little bit smaller. Might be a little bit smaller. It's carved into the steel there. You know, very nice. Got this uh, nice uh, square hole for deployment. It does need a little break in the period. Look at the size of this pivot. The pivot is a, a quarter inch, I believe. Let me see right there. Yeah, I believe the pivot is a quarter inch. Yeah, it's a quarter inch pivot. So it's definitely made for hard use. The size of that. Oh. So uh, I guess you're gonna have to like fashion some kind of a tool. Actually, Tim suggests that you don't loosen it because it's perfectly centered and there is a breaking in period and he, and he um, assures me that it will get smoother and smoother the more you flip it. So he suggests you don't uh, adjust this. So I won't. Um, let's see, what else can I give you guys? Show. Let me give you a... This is a 561. So it's really not that big. It looks huge, but it's it's really not that bad. Yep. So that's a 561. Um, yeah. So Tim makes you some batches if you want to get a hold of him. Uh, he actually sent a couple to JB Tactical, and uh, actually Knife Thursday. If you check out this Thursday, they're giving away one of these. For one of these, uh, for one of their uh, contests, their Knife Thursday contest. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. Something to do with the outdoors. So um, look out for that. Check out Knife Thursday coming up, and you'll see that they're giving away this debt collector. So that's a that's a nice way to get a, a free knife, a nice heavy duty knife. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Uh, what else gonna talk about? Yeah, um, did I cover everything? Yeah, so Knife Thursday's giving one away, uh, courtesy JB Tactical. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <clears throat> but um, definitely check them out. I'll put the link below for uh, Tim's website. 
uh, when you call, he's the guy that's going to answer the phone. And he answers the phone every time. What a gentleman. Um, just a, you know, he, he does what he says. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, he delivered. He definitely delivered. So check him out. Uh, I think he's creating an Instagram account. I got to find out what that is. I'm not sure yet. But uh, let's give me you guys some more... Uh, macro so far thick this is so it is g10 on one side and there are no liners just to be clear um but it is man it's thick g10 it's crazy thick you're not gonna do you know how strong g10 is this g10 is not going anywhere not going anywhere yeah i guess that's it Alright guys, so look out for it next Thursday and check out Tim's website if you want to order. Oh, he also has another knife. That's what I want to talk about. He also has another knife. This one's the Debt Collector. He also has another knife that's uh, it's called the Mofo. It's more of a traditional blade shape. Uh, I'm not, I think it's like a drop point, but uh, it's up on his site. So, um, yeah. So it's not just, he just doesn't make cleavers. He also makes, uh, he also makes um, fixed blades. Fixed blades and his two folders are the Debt Collector and the Mofo. So go check them out. All right, guys. Peace. I just want to add a couple of things. I noticed that uh, on the lock bar, if you guys notice, there's no uh, hole drilled in. You know, like typically on lock bars, there'll be a hole drilled in so they can accommodate the, the detent ball on the other side. So I would imagine he, Tim, measures it on the other side and matches it up with the blade. The detent is decent. It's not like super strong, but it's not bad. It sucks the the blade in, you know, I'm trying to do it really slow. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, actually it's pretty decent uh, detent. I also noticed that when I was checking it out, when I first got it, it's like, hey, is that blade, is the blade hitting the G10? It actually isn't, hopefully I can show you, see? I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like so precise that it just Barely touches it. Barely touches it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Because I thought, I said, man, is that is that hitting the G10? But no, it's actually, it's hitting the bar up here. The blade stop. Uh, yeah. Maybe I can show it this way better. Yeah, that's the D10. Yeah, actually the D10 is really good. It's really... I'm, I am wrong. It's actually pretty good. Pretty sucks in and well. Yeah, just want to show you that. Also, as far as packaging, he sends it to you in this nice Pelican case. Pelican 1020 case. And it also gives you um, a towel attached inside. All right, guys. Monster. Monster. <laughs> Peace.